Hi there, beautiful souls watching. Thank you. I'm Gabrielle, retired medium in Germany, and I like to share some of my otherworldly experiences and insights. So this one is another one about useful self-help, and it's called cord cutting. You know, we all have energetic cords that connect us, even with enemies, even with the ones we broke contact with, the cords energetically still exist, even with deceased ones and so on and other beings. And you have kind of uh, holes in your auric field where they can attach to these uh, connections energetically and they can suck your energy. I had a few clients, although I'm retired, sometimes I take some clients because um, I feel the need or they really need help and they are in, uh, in a state where they don't know how to help themselves and can't find help with a psychotherapist or whatever because these people don't know about the invisible world and the mechanisms and the laws in the universe. So cord cutting comes, as far as I know, from the Tibetan tradition, the rainbow uh, body tradition. And uh, it is very useful and sometimes very necessary because you don't want to get all your energy sucked by whomever, whatever. And in the morning you're tired, although you slept eight hours or whatever, you know. So it is kind of simple. I'm going to do and say that for you, but if you watch the video and follow, you can do that for yourself as well. After two or three times watching this, you learn it by heart and then you can use the tool for yourself. So best you close your eyes and you can put your hands onto your heart the chest area where there is the connection with your soul. And I like to say my little prayer in my way, not the church way. We are connected with the light, the one infinite creator source in us, around us, and within everything that is. And we ask for the assistance and help of the light, of source, of all positive light beings to help us cut the cords that are negative, that don't are fruitful, and that may even harm us. And now I ask Source for the white light to come down. I always see it. Two divine hands coming from out of a cloud with a big golden scissor going one or several times all around my body and cutting all the negative cords, all the cords that I don't want, that I do not consent to any longer. Just cut them off and seal the spaces where they were attached like you put a band-aid onto a little wound on your hand to, net, to not allow bacteria or dirt to come in there. So I'm asking now to cut all the cords of all the people watching this as well and sealing the places, locations and spaces where the cords were attached with white light so that no lower foreign vibration can ever enter there again. And I thank for the cord cutting 
I thank for the healing, for the highest good of everyone watching this. And so be it, so it is. Thank you. Although I know that the light is inside of all of us and the angels are only our higher dimensional aspects from other higher consciousness realms, I love this picture for myself with the hands coming and cutting the cords, but you can also imagine that using the Tibetan tradition of visualization. You can do that for yourself, you don't need to use my image, you can imagine a scissor by yourself that's going around your whole body system, cutting all the cords. So, I leave you with that. That's another useful tool. And I hope you can feel the effect and I hope it helps you on your way. We're all on the way, we're learning and growing, and I am as well. But they, they, my guides, want me to share on the way what I learned so that it might help some of you out there. We are all one. In the end, we will all meet in the light again as brothers and sisters, and I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for watching. Blessings, love and light onto your soul path. Dear souls, bye.